It's 7 3 at night, and you're asking women about men catcalling. Why? It makes me really sad when I don't get catcalled because then I'm like, do I look ugly? So you'll slide in my crib? Uh, huh? What? You, you can pull up to the crib? What? You can pull up late night, like on some sneaky. Sorry? Like we can sneaky link? What is that? That's is this it. your job? What do you do? What's your life? What is this? What's going on? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to view women. Like most men, I've heard some negative feedback on my ability to properly coexist with whiny over dramatic females. What sticks out to me after filming random women like a PI for three days is all the footage of them brushing their hair. They spend so much effort on looking good, but their biggest issue with us is our creepy male gaze. She just wants to feel pretty and you're telling her cheesy pickup lines from Google. But it feels impossible to act normal around someone that's literally carrying gold between their legs. Even when she gets under your skin, what she got still feels worth it. You try to push away those feelings because when she realizes your intention, she loses interest and kinda thinks you're pathetic. Your self-worth is dependent on her opinion, and she starts resenting all the creepy, horny, jealous male anger that comes with it. At some point, it's time to stop thinking like this. That's how the same woman who was pursued for her beauty ends up discarded and cut in half by some guy. Maybe she can do more than spread her legs. Maybe if you look closer, you'll see something you never noticed before. And maybe if you don't, all the girls your age will have learned their mistake and avoid some guy like you forever. But you also want to have the ability to sweep any girl off her feet. Not in hopes that life is going to open the door on somebody better, it's usually just some guy's damaged ex. But because you're insecure and women's admiration makes up for what you're lacking. It's selfish, but you're tired of lifting women up on a pedestal only to doze off mid-conversation on a $90 date because you're talking to a girl who never had to develop a personality. Viewing women like romantic balls of joy is just as dumb as objectifying them because your heart will always get broken. Now look at you broken no bitches. You're worried that if you keep viewing women as accessories for your life, you'll be that guy whose wife was found in the back of the trunk. So it's time to go outside and meet real women, platonic and celibate. I'm going to do all the research I can on how to untoxify myself and figure out the right way to view women. So for only $150, I hired a pickup artist on Google to coach me on running down on women in the street. Cassidy. Cassidy, nice to meet you. Uh, Huber? Yeah, Huber. Pleasure. Just thinking we could walk around, talk. Basically, mix it up a little bit. We got 90 minutes. It's uh, it's an art form. It's not respected anymore. When you talk about pickup artists, it's a negative connotation. People hate them in the, in the media. But you still call yourself a pickup artist? Me, I would say seduction expert. Oh, wait, I think we see something here. Okay. Uh, I'm going direct. Excuse me? You know where H&M is? I'm not from here. Uh, if you go down that way, you will not do it. Uh, I got confused because someone's like this way. Uh, so. Make a left. Okay, thank you. All right, that's an indirect approach. You use it as a warm up. Uh, excuse me, really quickly. One second, you got it. Now, that girl did not stop, but that's okay with me. Like I said, I will show you one more stop and we will switch mics. This is the moment I started wondering if I got scammed. Okay, the 7 12. Like three minutes? Yeah, three more minutes. Um, I hope you're learning something from this. Um, it's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Um, not getting upset or anything. Just being chill, relaxed. Chill. Relaxed. Cool. Uh, 713. Excuse me, really quickly. I best stop it now, I guess it's 714. Uh, slim picking today, but uh, all right, I guess, I guess it's your turn. 714. I didn't, I didn't really see much. All right, all right. That's that white girl stuff, just walking around barefoot and shit. I'm just asking my friend. I'm trying to like get this for my little sister. I'm not okay. sure if it'd be good for her. Oh, okay, okay. okay. What, 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 how old is she? She's like seven. Like, I don't know. Just, get it is this too old for her? You she think? Get it smaller. Yeah. Smaller? What size is it? A medium. So I guess you guys are like 18 and going to yeah. start yeah. next year. Actually, my 18th birthday is right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I would hug you, but we just met. That's awesome, though. I got to admit, for a guy who calls himself a seduction expert, his demeanor made every woman feel comfortable. That's what's up. We like that. We like that. Oh, shit. Sure. That's cool. It was so nice. It was a pleasure. Take care, guys. Yeah. Take care.
that was worth the money, but I definitely need another lesson. Well, this is this is really cheap. Like, I, like I'm really rich. Like, I have a lot of money. I can get like really cool jewelry too, right? Right, 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 right. right. Just like you, right? <laughs> okay, what? What is this an interview? And if anything, it strengthened my idea that women are objects of beauty that I need to worship for approval. My education so far wasn't very feminist. Maybe spitting game is just a crutch for communication. So for only $37, I bought a ticket for a speed dating event exclusively for people in their 30s and 40s. But then I had to wait an hour in a corner with the five other men who outnumbered the women. Not a big change. All right, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I think my loneliness covered for the age. When I started doubting even coming here, I remembered that this was a learning opportunity from seasoned women. This experience should fix my misogyny and maybe find me a cougar. Hello. Hello. I'm good, what's your name? My name is Carmen. Hubert. Oh, right, right. You can call me Hubert. 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 You speak French? Oui, je parle français. Okay, merci. You stay in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. yeah. So I come to Brooklyn many times. Okay. We'll catch up there. So you'll slide in my crib? Huh? Huh? What? You, you can pull up to the crib? What? You can pull up late night, like on some sneaky? Sorry? Like we can sneaky link? What is that? How old are you, by the way? How old do I look? I don't know, 20? 20? No, but this is for 30s and 40s. Uh, no. I don't believe you. I'm, I'm like 44 or 45. <laughs> you want that? How old are you, like 26, 26? You're supposed to be 30. Uh, no. You're looking a little young. Can I see your ID? You have anything? <laughs> oh, I need to write down your name, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I need to rate you like one out of ten? I, I, no, I think you just need to put up a cross. Oh, oh. Where do I, I write your bank account somewhere? <laughs> well, you will not know that information. Who is your favorite man so far? Besides me. Like, who is the, who is the best? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is going to be way easier than I thought. You give me your number? Oh, uh, yeah. Number? Yeah, I'll get your number. And when I come to Brooklyn or Times Square, we, we can, can go to the Sneaky Link. What? We can Sneaky Link in Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yeah. 22? Something like that. Don't worry about my age, it's not important. I like, had to mess in 48, I'm 27. Are you 27? Yeah. I'm 28, actually. So, I shall? Yeah, 28. I don't date people younger than me. Why not? Uh, that seems like a weird prejudice. That's discrimination. <laughs> no. That's actually, that's ageist. That, that's ageist. Close up to 30. What about uh, you? Uh, I'm about 45, 46. No, you're not. Yeah. I know, I like mentally. But like your actual age. No, but like spiritually, like I, I, I identify you feel as, as No, I like I, I converted. Like I'm I'm trans age. Okay. So yeah, I'm forty five. But like, technically Okay, technically. I'm sixteen, but like <laughs> men spiritually, like based on our conversation and connection, like I've been alive for a long time. You could say I'm an old soul. I'm thirty eight. You're thirty eight? Uh, I'm forty six. I'm really into girls like 38, 39, like that's that's always been my type. Oh. Ever since I was 18, I've always liked 38, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid. Really? Since I was a baby, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brother and sister also. Yeah, my brother and sister, they love uh, 38 year olds, yeah. What they love? Uh, 38 year old women. Why? Oh my god, my last day was Filipino. I was dating him for six months. Here, I love it, but he was too crazy for me. Look at the phone. I like to wear sexy clothes, I like to wear sexy clothes. Uh, I like to be sexy. He was protective? Too much. He was older? He was like 32, but... 32. See, see, younger man, if you a bad bitch, I'm not gonna like stop you from being a bad bitch. Like, I, I'm gonna let you be a bad bitch, because... <laughs> it seems like older women want to be viewed just like young girls do, but they have enough experience to avoid fuckboys. So, where do you see this date going? Like, this is our first date, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's a weird question. You're not supposed to ask that. Oh, uh, but like technically, you're you're my girlfriend now. <laughs> like we're we're dating because this is a date. Where so camera? we're dating. <laughs> yeah. So you could write that I'm the I'm the number one on the on the list. Right? Number one. Just just you can like cross out everyone. Circle me and then oh. I saw these out because we're locked in, we got each other's name. Oh really? Yeah, we, it's like that, it's like that. But not official. It's official when you asked me to come on a date. I think it was official when I crossed out everybody else. <laughs> what would I get if I if I dated you? Do you have to figure it out? Is it worth it? It is. Is she hitting on me? What is your type? I don't got no type. Bad bitches is the only thing that I like. 
I ain't got no wife. Cups with the ice, because we do this every night. Already? Yeah, fumbled that one, huh? So I see we're switching. I hope you don't you don't cheat on me because like, so no, funny. we are in a relationship now. You understand oh, that? Right? Yeah, this is this how the terms work. Well, I wrote it, so you're my girlfriend. So new girlfriend. Where's the camera? Shit, shit, shit. My new wife from India hates Indian men. No, no, I love Indian hates, men. Hate Americans <laughs> better than Indians. You're totally funny. really yeah? good, thank you. And I would say like a 8.5 out of 10. 8 point. You could put 10 for me though. Come with me something. Nah, but she's definitely locked in. No, smile. No, smile. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I sorry. I, 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 so I, I'll delete the pictures. I'll just take another. I, that's my fault. I just didn't think so. Smile. What? I cannot show it to that's my That's my smile. Also. That's my natural smile. Oh, um, really? Yeah. When I look at you, I just. <laughs> You're not modeling here. Totally funny, huh? No, nah, I'm, I'm being serious. You are. Nah, you nah. Are. I'm, just, I'm being serious. You better like a guy like you. A guy like what? A 46 year old man? Like. Funny. <laughs> Now I'm not gonna let anything stand in the way and block the right way to view women. Those middle-aged women taught a lesson to not feed into the ego just because you're sitting across from a smoking hot cr That speed dating event helped me take a small step away from constantly objectifying women. I wasn't spinning in circles thinking about how to impress them. They were all laughing because I was relaxed and had zero expectations. Now it's time to take a look at my own reflection and figure out how girls my own age want to be viewed. How are we supposed to appreciate your beauty without creeping you the fuck out? Does cat calling make you feel good? Sometimes, yeah, if you're cute. <laughs> you know what? I appreciate them shooting their shot. Like, why not? There's a certain amount where it's like, okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Like, yo, ma, let me talk to you. Like, like come here. Like, what the, what the fuck? I look like a dog. Like, oh, go, come here real quick. What? I'm like, no. Don't respectfully. Thank you. That's it. Respectfully. How do you respectfully say you have a fat ass? You've been working out? Okay. Do you do legs? Nice glutes. Nice well, blue cheeks on fleek. <laughs> I don't like all that personally. Just be like, oh, you're beautiful. Thank you. Call it a day. <laughs> you disagree? She's making the biggest disagreement face I've ever seen. <laughs> I love that face. Well, wait, wait, what do you disagree with? You don't think that cat calling could be like a little enjoyable sometimes? It's not. It's disgusting. It's always disgusting? Of course. It's never made you feel good? No. So what's your opinion on these three women disagreeing? <laughs> Um, um, I, there's a camera in front of them and they're trying to be in the camera, that's it. I think they're being honest. No. Were you guys being honest? It seemed pretty like a normal response from you. When it gets to like the extreme, that's a problem. That's is this it. your job? What do you do? What's your life? What is this? What's going on? Is this your life? What's going on? Why, why are you asking women questions? It's um, excuse me, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, why are you approaching women and asking about cat calling? <coughs> so we could talk about it and, why? you know, get your perspective? Why? To get your perspective. But no, no, no. What does that benefit for you? For me? Yeah. It makes an interesting video. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so for what? Like TikTok and ah, Pornhub. you're a TikToker. Okay. So thought daughter or ho uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, you know what I think? What do you think? I think this is mad fucking stupid. Yeah. <clears throat> it's 10 3 at night. And you're asking women about men catcalling. Yeah. It's fucking stupid as fuck. And that's my answer to that. I didn't ask you that question. You... I know, but I'm answering it. Okay. You're part of it now. I mean, you think it's stupid, but you've just contributed to it. Just because I'm... It's stupid. It, you, can tr you can contribute to something that's stupid. It doesn't matter. It's very weird that men go up to women at 10 o'clock at night and ask them about men catcalling them. It's, it's kind of like the same thing, so... Oh, it's weird? It's very weird. Why is it weird? Because you're a man, a stranger, coming up to a woman. A woman. Mm, nothing you did or you didn't do has not contributed anything to my life. Spam. Now I know this conversation isn't going anywhere, but I'm trying to see if I can get her to like me, even though she clearly hates the male gender. Have you ever used your looks to your advantage? Not that I'm aware of. The fuck? I don't. I don't think I have any like looks to use my advantage. So. I think we're onto something. You don't think you're pretty? I did not say I don't think I'm pretty. You just said that right now. I think you're kind of pretty. Okay. 
Uh, you see that smile? What's the number one problem that men have when they communicate with women? Everything. Number one? Yes. Ugly. Most men are ugly. You said it, not I. Are most men ugly? Yes. Do you want the okay. answer? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, she still hates me, but she did stay eight minutes talking for my stupid TikTok. It ain't that serious. It's really not that serious. I don't know why she went that freaking hard. It I makes mean, me really sad when I don't get catcalled because then I'm like, do I look ugly? Because yeah, I feel like I, I, des I deserve to be catcalled. It's a summer thing. Yeah. Bring catcalling back. Yeah. I mean, in a feminist way. Maybe not, but okay, this is the thing about women. It's like, You're beautiful, see, like baby. on the surface we'll be like, I don't want to be catcalled because ew, men are gross, but deep down every woman appreciates like, okay, a someone compliment. finds me attractive. Recently a guy said that my body was offensive to other women. So it's like the fact that I haven't been catcalled that much, it's like, okay, come on now. I want to feel a little bit of love. Yeah. My favorite one is like, you drop something. Your I've... smile. Uh, <laughs> That's just corny. Don't say it if it's gonna be corny. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna steal that one. I like that one. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice smile. Thank you. I needed that today. I had a horrible day. Please tell me more. You got something on your jacket right there. Oh, just your smile was shining onto it. That's uh, just what happened. Uh, okay, okay. How do you think that we can improve as a gender when it comes to talking to y'all? I honestly think you need to just like up your confidence and just embrace whatever sex appeal you have, just like go for it because women love that shit. If you're like cute enough. What if you're not attractive? Then it's creepy, right? Uh, if you're not attractive, you no, could have you, a charm. If you have confidence you have and charm. charm and swag, yeah. then it's not creepy. If you're a creep, then it's creepy. Okay, what about the, for the creepy guys? For the creepy guys, like don't try to pull like lines that are like cutesy and whatever. Just be straightforward. Just be like, I think you're cute. Do you want to go out with me? And if a girl says no, that's fine. Yeah. Be straightforward. Yeah. I think that's always that's always solid. Have you ever used your looks to uh, get something from a man? Yes. Absolutely. As yeah. much as I can. Yeah. As often as possible. What's the most you ever got? Like drinks is like, you know, that's light. Money. I got a lot of money. Oh! <laughs> Paid me a nice chunk of money and I left and then blocked his number. I was like, peace out. Thanks. No. How much money can I ask? Like 600 bucks for the night, yeah. Oh, for the night? I, yeah. We stayed in a really nice hotel. I don't care. <laughs> I was broke. Okay, so you had to give something, you know? It's not like you just got the money. I mean, I guess. I think he considers that a fair transaction. Uh, <laughs> no, it just sounds like I'm a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> no, it no. wasn't like that. It was like, I don't know. You asked for something, and he was just like, like, here's some help. Exactly. Okay. I think he had a lot of game to convince her that. And only a half hour shooting at 10 or 3 at night, every girl had a completely different answer. I don't even think they know how they want to be viewed. They want you to be straightforward, but not too straightforward creep. They want your attention, but only at the perfect moment when they need it. Based on those interviews, they kind of expect you to know how to read their minds. I'm starting to understand why a lot of dudes play it safe and stick to the hub. If you're respectful with your, your cat calling, if she don't answer, leave it alone. If she does answer, says thank you, leave it at that. Don't be disrespectful. Hey, yo, you, you look really beautiful today. <laughs> thank you, but uh, I got a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, man, have a good time. I'm talking like this issue is universal, but after working on this video for two weeks, maybe I'm just horny. I attach so much importance to women's attention because I grew up a little Asian boy in America with braces. When you can't get something, you start believing you won't be happy until you do. But your value as a man shouldn't depend on a woman. She simply wants somebody that doesn't need her. Instead of approaching women as a projection of your desires, it's better to see them as just other people. Usually people are more interesting than they seem. If you just want sex, you'll ironically save a lot of time and money by just paying her the 600 and getting blocked. Consider joining my Patreon if you want to hear my podcast, watch my editing tutorials, and see these videos a week early, all for only four bucks. 10 or 3 at night.